talking about services and um, basically what a service is is something that the operating system invokes in order to take care of a particular task so for instance there's a home group service to manage the home group providers and there's a fax service to manage the fax information so what we're going to do is we're going to disable manually and set to manual and even uninstall some of these services um, and in order to get there we need to hit windows key R and type in services dot m s c and press enter and it should bring up this list of services expand it so you can see everything and just click and drag over the name so you can see the full name now if you'd like um, you can type these names into google if you have a particular service that you want to disable and it'll tell you what kind of service you're disabling and uh, if it affects anything else but today we're just gonna do some simple ones so we're gonna go to IP helper which is just press I on the keyboard and bring go down to IP helper now see the service starts automatically we don't want that anymore we're gonna right click we're gonna stop the service we're going to right click again on the service, we're going to click properties, we're going to click this drop down menu that says automatic and we're going to click manual, and we're going to click apply. So now if we want IP helper to work, it's got to be invoked by the operating system. Okay, so what if we want to disable something? Uh, it's pretty much the same thing let's disable something let's disable remote registry now remote registry is pretty much exactly as like it sounds it allows people to remote in and modify the registry so personally I don't mind having this disabled as long as you know you don't need anyone to remote into your computer so we're gonna go to properties and we're gonna go back to this drop down box and we're gonna click it and we're gonna go disable Okay, so now remote registry is disabled. Now we can even remove a service entirely, but before we do that, I suggest you check the dependencies of the service because as soon as you remove or disable a ser service, anything that's dependent on that service could fail as well. So, first, let's go to fax. Hit F on your keyboard and go to fax, and it's a manual service. Now, I don't do any faxing. I have no modem installed on my keyboard. I don't plan to do any, f or on my computer. I don't plan to do any faxing. So I'm pretty much safe to say that I can remove this service and not miss it. So. Okay, so in order to remove a service, we can go, we can go start. control panel programs and features turn windows features on and off expand print and document services uncheck enables windows fax scan click OK please wait while this makes changes Restart the virtual machine. Now, in theory. when we go to services.msc and we click into the window and we hit F we should no longer find nope it's gone 
the fax service. Kaboom! Alright, so that's how you remove a service, that's how you disable and manually set a service. So I'd like to thank you for watching my video. If you do find something in there, don't be afraid to Google it and then follow my tutorial on how to remove or disable it. Thanks for watching my video.